Hello and welcome. Today is January 10th, 2015, and we're at San Francisco's world-famous Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, but we're not here to look at the scenery. The scenery is great, but that's not why we're here. We're here because they're installing a movable median barrier to separate the opposing lanes of traffic. The first time the Golden Gate Bridge has ever had that. They've talked about such a barrier for many years, and now they're finally doing it, and we're going to check it out as they install it today. Before we get to today's construction, let's step back and review. Uh, here's a shot of the Golden Gate Bridge from earlier this year. This shot is from the Marin side, the northern side looking south towards San Francisco. You can see the opposing lanes of traffic and how close they are. If you've never driven on the Golden Gate Bridge, it can be a little bit scary, actually, uh, because the only thing dividing the opposing lanes of traffic are these little plastic pylons. And they really are not any barrier at all, and you're whizzing by traffic in the opposite direction, inches away. Uh, the speed limit is 45, but of course a lot of people go faster, and it can be pretty scary. So a divider has been something that's been talked about for a long time and is actually long overdue. Uh, before we get started going across the bridge, the first thing to talk about today is that the bridge is closed. This is the first time the bridge has ever been closed for construction in its entire history. It has been closed before for events, but uh, never for construction. And here's a view of the toll plaza in a way you don't often see with no traffic whatsoever. Here's what the toll plaza would look like on a normal Saturday afternoon. But here's what it looks like today. Okay, let's start our stroll across the bridge. Off to the left there, you can see a portion of the new movable median barrier that's already been installed. And perhaps equally interesting, uh, something you don't see very often, a completely empty Golden Gate Bridge with no traffic. Kind of reminds me of those science fiction movies, end of the world thing where everyone's gone. Uh, well, except for the people on the sidewalk, they kind of ruin the... The image but anyway ignore those people on the right and uh, it kind of looks like one of those science fiction movies where all the people have disappeared it's the end of the world okay let's zip along to the center of the bridge it looks to me like what they did is they started at each end and they're about to meet in the middle I've always heard the rule of thumb when you're jogging is if you can't speak, then you're going too fast. So while we're zooming up the bridge here, I'll give you a few facts. They first looked at a divider in the 1980s, but at that time all the dividers were two feet wide, and that just takes up too much space, because the lanes of the bridge take up all of the surface, essentially. In 1995, a one-foot-wide barrier was developed, so they restarted new studies in 1996. And now after about 20 years, here we are, and they're finally installing it at a cost of about $30 million. The barrier is 13,340 feet long. Okay, I'm a little bit out of breath after that uh, quick walk up the bridge there, but we've almost reached where the construction's going on there. You can see a semi carrying a bunch of the barriers to be installed. Let's look back the way we came to get a good view of the barrier there. Each piece is about two feet long and one foot wide, and there's just a pin that goes down uh, and forms a little hinge so that they can move the barrier easily, sort of like a zipper. I believe this is called a zipper barrier. Here the actual assembly of the barrier is coming into view. We're almost up to where the construction is. Uh, let's go up a little further. Uh, we won't go quite so fast this time. Well, we're now up where the action's happening. This is where the construction is. You can see that the pieces come on the semi-trucks uh, in two segments put together. So they take each of the two segments and they slide them into place. And then they pound the pin in and they've extended it by two pieces. And they just keep doing this, extending it two pieces at a time. And they've got a handy dandy uh, adapter, I guess you would call it, on the forklift there that uh, is used to lift the pieces and put them in place. And 
and sometimes a little good old-fashioned elbow grease there to uh, get the holes to line up. You can see him holding the pin in his left hand here. That pin is going to pound the pin in through the holes and uh, form the hinge. You can't tell from the video, but every time they drop those things onto the surface, as he just did there, if you're standing there, you can feel the whole bridge vibrate a little bit. Those things are actually pretty heavy. Now, you can't tell that from the video. YouTube's got 3D, but they don't have any other sensory uh, things to the video yet, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Here's another good view of him inserting the pin there between the two pieces. Uh, use insert, but that's kind of a gentle word. Here in this wider shot you can see where the two uh, sections are about to meet. Uh, on the right is coming down from the north and on the left is coming up from the south. It looks to me like they started at each end and they're going to meet from the middle. And here we are just about to see that momentous occasion. Well, it looks like I'm not the only one recording this momentous occasion. It looks like they're recording it as well, from both the air and from ground level. Looks to me like I'm getting recorded right about now. I wonder if I'll see this video somewhere. Maybe I'll be famous. And here you can see some of the ground level component of their recording. It looks like they're recording me again. It looks like they've got me from all angles. Well, here you can see they're getting close to the two sections meeting and they're busy measuring to see if it's gonna fit. I hope it fits. I mean, I hope they don't like have to move the whole thing over by two inches all the way back to where they started. That would be a bummer. Uh, here a member of the crowd suggests that they use duct tape because as we all know, you can fix anything with duct tape. <laughs> use duct tape, duct tape. <laughs> Actually, if you look closely, it looks like that one section there is slightly adjustable in length. So I think they're covered no matter what. Uh, here you can see some buses going by on the opposite lanes. Uh, although the bridge is closed to general traffic, they did let uh, Golden Gate Transit buses go through every once in a while, so you could see a few buses go through every once in a while. That was the only traffic on the bridge other than construction traffic. I don't know if this was expected. I assume it probably was. It looks like they ended up with an odd number of pieces, so they have one last piece to insert. Uh, since, as we saw before, the pieces come in pairs already assembled, uh, they have to disassemble this pair to get the single piece, and they've got these cool tools to pull the pin out.
Here they used the forklift to straighten out the sections and push them into place. It took him quite a few tries to uh, get it pushed over, uh, which kind of illustrates how heavy they are, which also illustrates how good of a barrier they are, I guess, because it took this forklift quite a bit to uh, get them to budge. All right, here we go. We're starting to put the very last segment into place. Let's hope it fits. In a moment here, you'll hear the crowd that's watching let out a cheer as they realize the last piece is indeed going to fit, and they aren't going to have to move everything down by an inch all the way to the end of the bridge, fortunately. Okay, and in goes the last pin on the last piece, and of course everyone in the crowd thought it should be a golden spike, like the railroads joining, but I guess they didn't do that. We forgot the gold one! We forgot one! <laughs> How about a turnaround shot for the crowd? Hey, stay, stay for the crowd, guys. Take a bow. Very nice. There you have it. The new movable median barrier on the Golden Gate Bridge has successfully been installed. Actually, I think they have a little more work to do at the ends, but at least they've met in the middle. I'll close out this video with some shots of an almost completely empty Golden Gate Bridge, something you don't see very often.
oh, you know, what the heck, we are on the Golden Gate Bridge after all, so what the heck, I'll throw in a few of the standard touristy shots. Thank <laughs> you.